Lacey. Whoa. I don't know about the rest of you, but this community stuff was a little creepy to me and a little scary at first. Uh, I never realized there were so many options in my community for any type of information that I needed until I was told to do this. I have gone to church services and many things for medical assisting. I've been to a lot of those seminars and I've been to a couple of ones for the school for my children. So the three that I have chosen are the sexual maturation of fifth graders and the other one is <laughs> <laughs> developing expertise in vaccine management and administration, session B, that's the second session. And then the third one was my Toastmasters in Lakewood. So with this one, I listened to Bethany Ryle, the RN, and she came in and talked to all the parents of fifth and sixth graders. Sixth graders didn't matter to me because he's only in fifth grade. So they went ahead and told us about the video that they were gonna be showing students, both boys and girls, wow. that they were going to be splitting boys into one room, girls into another room, and showed us the video. And she was very open and very warm and welcoming, which is something that I really enjoyed. Her body language was great and so was her eye contact. She um, answered any questions that people had about the video, which showed both male and female parts. So afterwards, a lot of parents were really concerned about their daughter seeing what happens with the boy stuff and vice versa. And I am okay with that. Uh, we are very open to talk to him about what needs to be done and I think fifth grade is a good time for that. So that's the one thing I really truly liked about her was just the openness about it and saying that feel free to ask any questions, talk to your teachers, they're the ones that are gonna be doing the education. He has yet to have it but it will happen between now and the end of the school year. Then I went to the vaccine clinic. I went to two of them. I went to that one on February 23rd, which is session B, and I found out that over $15 million is wasted in vaccines every year in the United States due to people not properly putting them in the refrigerator, horrible shipments that are being brought in and people are stuffing them over in the coffee room and they need to be refrigerated immediately. They're $88 a vial. Imagine an entire box you have to throw out. Shut up. Also, uh, people not properly checking the temperature on ones that need to be in the freezer and the refrigerator. And some MAs go and give those shots and you don't know that your child's vaccinated or you're vaccinated or your depo shot didn't work because of people not paying attention and not getting fault. So sometimes people have babies when yes. they thought they were protected. Uh, Cindy, Cindy Smith was very good, very well organized. She had a PowerPoint running the entire time with flash information. She handed everybody a slideshow printout of the PowerPoint in our portfolios. Uh, we all got certified when we were there for vaccination seminars. I thought that was very interesting information to find out and actually scared me a little bit because I have given them all their shots from childhood on up and at any point they may not be vaccinated for chicken pox. They may not, may not be protected for hepatitis B if somebody didn't tell us that it was expired or they didn't put the proper diluent in with the mixture. So that really woke up my eyes and I'm glad I was able to attend that community speech. And lastly, I went to Lakewood Toastmasters on Tuesday. Desiree was very, very well organized and opening, opened up to us. Everybody there when they came in the room introduced themselves, said hi and hello and thank you for being there. Really encouragement about joining their Toastmasters. Uh, Topic was on dogs, the theme of the day. So a lot of information on dogs. And I found that to be kind of exciting and easy for me to go into because I have two dogs myself. And the table topics were about dogs. So I went ahead and took a table topic and went up there and they said they were pretty impressed that a newbie person was willing to go up there and talk. And I had to talk about, is it okay to crate your dog or would you like them to rather sleep in your bed or your child's bed? I yeah, forced my for sleep with the dog because I wouldn't put my kid in a crate and I wouldn't want to sleep in a crate, so why should my dog? <laughs> but so I really liked her and I thought that, you know, even though she read a lot of notes and the guy called her out on I don't know how many ums while she was there, she was still really up and going and did a really good job. So now that I've talked to you about sexual maturation, I did read a book called Sex, Puberty, and All That Stuff by Jackie Bailey has a lot of good sections of just for boys, just for girls, about dating, crushes, and all that. So I would suggest checking out that book if you have <coughs> a child that possibly needs some information and may not want to ask you all the questions. 
with the vaccine. I went and visited that one and got the information. And there's a book called The Vaccine Book, Making the Right Choice for Your Child by Dr. Robert W. Sears. And Bob talks about side effects in really good depth about the vaccinations and combo nation vaccines and how it is acceptable to give multiple vaccinations. It will not harm your child or yourself if you need them. And finally, the Toastmasters, since it was the dog theme, I read the book, The Ultimate Guide to Dogs by David Alderton. And it went in depth about dog breeds. Does anybody know what the number one dog breed, most popular dog breed is? Lab. 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 Black Lab. Black Lab. Really? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. So I hope that me going into the community and visiting these people and speaking to you today, that you are now more well-informed and want to get out there and check out something that you may never have thought to do.